A calling card for insurrectionists flying in plain view outside of the house of an associate justice of the Supreme Court of the United States. The pictures are from January 17th, 2021, 11 days after rioters stormed the U.S. Capitol to stop Congress from certifying the 2020 election. Now, Alito publishing a full stop denial in response of the, to the report saying, quote, I had no involvement whatsoever in the flying of the flag. It was briefly placed by Mrs. Alito in response to a neighbor's use of objectionable and personally insulting language on yard mm -hmm. that let that happen at his own home in one of the most fraught times in American history since since the Civil War is just it's just sad and it shows how little respect he has for the institution it shows how little respect he has for the law it really does it's disgusting it's just Disgusting. The New York Times reported that Justice Alito had the upside down American flag flying at his house for a brief period of time during the Stop the Steal movement. This upside down flag was the symbol of the Stop the Steal movement. He has issued a statement saying that it was his wife that put out the flag and she did it momentarily in response to some sort of offensive language that was on a yard sign of a neighbor. Now, we haven't yet heard from the Supreme Court about all of this, but what is missing from Alito's response? A denial that it happened at all, much less remorse or regret that it did. Also missing, any disavowal of the symbol claimed by those who sought to overthrow the government. First of all, I can't imagine what kind of offensive yard sign would have as a response an upside down steal the, you know, stop the steal flag. It's not like you're putting another sign rebutting offensive language. So that made zero sense. And you are a Supreme Court justice and you think it's okay to put out a flag, upside down flag, even momentarily saying that you're somehow supporting this idea that we don't have a fair and free election? Willie. And by the, by the way, we can't overstate the timing of this, which is January 17th, 2021. Think about where we were as a country, still completely shaken by what had happened on January 6th. And a sitting Supreme Court justice has a flag flying upside down at his home that is a symbol of solidarity, as John said, with the Stop the Steal movement. So offensive that he would do that. And the fact that he did not recuse himself from the absolute immunity argument that Trump just put forward, and we just heard the live analysis about it, he didn't recuse himself. Justice Thomas didn't recuse himself, even though his wife was involved with January 6th. So now we have two justices whose wives clearly made political statements and took political actions regarding whether or not the election was fair and the peaceful transition of power. And that January 6th case that has been brought up to the Supreme Court is on that January 6th rally. And this entire idea of whether or not the election was valid or whether or not he could stop the counting of electors because the election wasn't valid is exactly on this issue. And yet neither of them recused themselves. And you know who should be watching also the um, criminal trial in New York, the Supreme Court justices, because what they heard Michael Cohen testify to is not only testimony from Michael Cohen, we heard the fact that Donald Trump signed the check, signed the check with this reimbursement that violated campaign laws to Stormy Daniels in the Oval Office. And he did that. He was able to get into that Oval Office because his willingness to violate campaign election laws buying the story, bearing the story, doing it without disclosure and doing it in an amount that was more than a, what you are allowed to give to a campaign. He got there from cheating the campaign laws. And then once he was there, he signed the check, which is the falsification of the criminal trial. And the Supreme Court should be watching that, especially um, Justice Kentonji Brown Jackson in that live oral analysis that we heard said we shouldn't be worried about not about too much of a chill on our president we should be worried about not having enough chill on our president and they should all be chilled i hope that she has her colleagues notice hey this is what's going to happen if we give too much immunity to a president justice alito 
should not sit on any of these cases involving Donald Trump. He ought to recuse himself. And here is the challenge to Chief Justice Roberts. The United States Supreme Court's credibility is plummeting. All time low. Completely. Lower than perhaps even the United States Congress. And that's saying something. Mm -hmm. And it is due to the Supreme Court's own self-inflicted wounds. Alito and Thomas directly involved Mm. in the January 6th insurrection. Now they're going to sit on cases involving pivotal legal questions. Absolutely unthinkable. And uh, I think that Chief Justice Roberts has to take leadership of this court. He has to tell these two justices that they have no business sitting on the court. It will still be able to decide the cases, but not with Justices Alito and Thomas, because by virtue of flying that flag upside down, whether it was his wife or not, it's his home. And Justice Thomas, through his wife, Ginny, being involved in helping to organize the insurrection, both have a very direct interest here. Not only is he on trial for trying to steal the election, but we had the Speaker of the House and all these MAGA Republicans showing up to disparage our jury system, to disparage our criminal justice system. His daughter's making money, raising money for Democrats, and all of the fundraising emails and all the fundraising things are about this trial that his daughter is using. He won't recuse himself. This is a travesty of justice. But the judge's daughter herself is also fundraising off this for people like Adam Schiff and the Biden administration. So the real bookkeeping that we need accounting of is Judge Merchant's own family member collecting millions of dollars as a Democratic operative using the existence of this trial as a fundraising ploy for Democrats. This is unconscionable. And meanwhile, along the uh, among the atrocities here, the judge's own daughter is making millions of dollars doing online fundraising for Democrats. The judge inside, his daughter is making millions of dollars running against Donald Trump, raising money for Donald Trump's political opponents. Then- you know, there's that, that old phrase uh, that comes from parliament, uh, backbencher, meaning someone who's you know, not a relevant player in the parliament or in the Congress, a backbencher. Most of those faces that you just saw in that photograph were, to their shock, relegated to literally the back bench of the courtroom uh, because there wasn't enough space in the first two rows where the Secret Service occupy a couple of seats and the uh, Eric Trump uh, frequently occupies a seat uh, and other Trump supporters occupy some seats. And so uh, only a couple of them uh, got into that front row space. Matt Gates is one of them who got into the front row space. But uh, And by the way, a, a good six or seven of them uh, I couldn't recognize without their uh, congressional pins on their lapels. Uh, and so they, they didn't, I think, get uh, the treatment inside the courtroom that they were hoping for. But the whole game for them was what they were going to say to the microphones outside of the courtroom. Only way to hold them to account is through our justice system. And if the Supreme Court guts our justice system's ability to hold him or any other president who's willing to steal an election from us, we all should be chilled. And so the Supreme Court has got to be watching this. And I hope that Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson can convince, you know, Justice Gorsuch, Kavanaugh to be as horrified by what is happening and to be willing to allow Donald Trump to suffer the consequences of his actions. Yeah, speaking of surrender of ethics, I do want to get your reaction to the New York Times reporting tonight that Justice Samuel Alito uh, was reportedly flying a stop the steal flag in front of his house in and around January 17th of 2021. You were on the House January 6th committee. You know this saga quite well. Uh, Do you have a thought on that, given the role the Supreme Court has played and is playing around January 6th and holding those accountable? This is why Americans have no trust in the Supreme Court anymore. Uh, they see a justice with a flag, uh, you know, essentially a stop the steal flag uh, outside their home, presiding, sitting in cases, affecting the investigation into that effort to uh, incite the attack on the Capitol. Uh, you have uh, Justice Thomas, 
whose wife was in text messages and email communications about this effort to overturn the election, um, sitting and voting against, as a, a member of the court, voting against providing documents to Congress that might implicate his spouse. Uh, not just a perceived conflict, but a real conflict. Uh, and, and this is why people have no confidence in the court. And there at the moment is no recourse uh, for this. They can violate the code of ethics because there is no enforceable code of ethics for the Supreme Court. Uh, but but I think as you were discussing earlier with respect to Alito, he's proud of his disdain for public opinion. Uh, he is, you know, more than willing to wear his partisan colors on his sleeve or in this case, on the flagpole. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.